Um, it's about a fixed penalty notice. Um, very, very long, short story. Um, I own a shop in uh, Carshorton in Surrey, and I too had an inspector come round, an uh, environmental health officer, and they said to one of my colleagues, who's the owner of the shop? They pointed to me. They said, can we have a private word with you, sir? And I said, yeah, no problem. They went out, we went into the back stores, and they said, right, before you say anything, we're going to read you the rights of blah, 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 you know, whatever you do, say, and all that sort of stuff. And they had cameras on them as well. They didn't ask my name. They just assumed that I was there. The name of the person, I can't name the shop, but it was the, the name above the shop is a man's name. And they assumed I was that person. Then they said to me that we've got um, evidence to say you've been fly tipping. I went, OK, go ahead. Um, it's about half a mile away from my shop. It's one cardboard box. With Sorry, George, mo- uh, Donald, you're just going to have to clarify this to me. Um, you, you said that you're the owner of the shop. Yes. But you're not the person whose name is above the shop. Yes, that's correct. So you trade under somebody else's name? Yes. Okay, right, I understand. The name of the shop shop is somebody's name, but it's not... But um, not yours. But not mine. Okay. And uh, they they just assumed I was that person. Um, They they, um, showed me a picture of a half, like a shoe cardboard box size next to two bins with our name of our shop on it. And he said, right, how did that get there? I went, I don't know, I've got a clue. We sometimes give boxes out to customers to put their goods in. And he went, OK. And I said, um, can I just show you something? We've, we've got a cardboard crushing machine, which we crush down. I pay each week for somebody to come and collect my cardboard because we'd get rid of a lot of cardboard. Why would I want to dump one box? Yeah, Don, Donald, you know, can you move to the question? Oh, sorry. The, the question is that they've, they've given me a fixed penalty notice and they keep sending me letters saying, if I don't pay it, I don't pay it. Um, I'm going to court. They want me to go to court. OK. So you want um, to know whether you should go to court or pay the fixed penalty notice? Yeah. Well, I can't get hold of them. They, they don't reply back to a human being. It's only an email. And of course they, they, have, they haven't replied back to a human yep. being. And they've sent me another letter the other day just saying, if you don't pay up in five days, you go to court and it could be £7,000 fine. OK. Well, it's not going to be that level. That's the maximum and it's there to scare you. Um, the uh, a fixed penalty notice is, is an offer to accept paying a fine in exchange for not being taken to court and prosecuted. And if you accept the fixed penalty notice, you get to pay... Did you say it was 70 quid? It was uh, It was uh, £400. Pounds, £400? Pounds. Oh, quite a big one. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you uh, don't pay it and you elect to go to court, because it's an election by you, pay the fixed penalty notice or choose to go to court, uh, you will be... Um, taken to the magistrate's court and the prosecution will try to prove that you dumped that box. It's for them to prove you dumped the box, not for you to prove you didn't. The burden of proof is on the prosecution. And from what you're telling me, it sounds like an absolutely hopeless prosecution. I suspect the moment a prosecutor looks at it, they'll they'll just laugh and say, we're not prosecuting this guy. At the moment, no one's looked at the file. It's just been an assembly line process. Uh, so if I were you, I wouldn't pay that £400, I would go to the magistrate's court and I would defend yourself. Uh, Now, the only question is the commercial one, uh, Donald, of whether a day of your time is worth more or less than £400. Because if a day of your time in the business is worth more than £400, commercially pay the £400 rather than lose more in terms of opportunity costs by losing a day to go to court.